Right, welcome back. Welcome back. How's it going? How's everyone out there? What are we doing? What are we doing? Fuck knows. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, right. We've got some ingredients going on here. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now, what have we got? Well, we've got some pork belly. A chicken thigh with a skin on still, and a chicken thigh with no skin on. What are we doing? Well, what we're going to be doing is, I'm get, it's going to be made up a little bit on the hoof, because I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, but we're going to be making, or attempt to be making, a sort of, a sort of Chinesey, barbecue slowly roasted in the oven pork belly on a very low heat. And we're going to do with, and we're also going to do a sort of chicken curry um, where this will be uh, marinated, so with the chicken fire. So, this is basically this part one is going to be about marination, that's what we're doing. So, we've got some ingredients as you can see, and we're just gonna have a look. And see what goes on. So I think what we're going to do first is I'm going to, I've also, these have been brined as well. So I've brined these for two days in water, salt, sugar, uh, rice wine vinegar, star anise, cinnamon, garlic and chilli. So there we go. So we're going to start with the pork belly. Um, like I said, this is all completely made up because I I don't know roughly what I'm doing really. I think I better uh, what I'm gonna do the oven, uh, the oven ain't even on is it? For fuck's sake. Right. That's the oven on. Switch that on. I want that up high because I wanna sort of make a little bit of a sauce. So I've got this Gojian Korean hot wrapper paste stuff. Um, and I just want to just want to get some of this. Not, not that much. I just want to sort of melt it down a little bit in here. If I can. Well, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, that's a bit sticky. Right. Can have a look at that. So yeah, it's a Saturday afternoon here. So this video won't be being made until tonight. Because um, I've got to get a bit of a move on because obviously... Um, just a little bit of water. Yeah, so I've got to get a bit of a move on because obviously... Um, these got to have time to marinate. Right, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to whack in some sriracha chilli sauce. Why not? Get that in there. I'm going to put in a bit of a uh, hoisin sauce as well. Why not? Okay. I better get the trays and they're going to be roasted in. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, last week I went over to Waitrose. I know. I know. Cancel scum. Do What is he doing in Waitrose? I'm not cancel scum, but I am scum. I am working class scum, so there is that. So I went into Waitrose and I bought basically a lot of stuff, a lot of Thai stuff, like this um, Singapore noodle paste, fucking red Thai paste, green Thai paste, pad Thai, ramen, loads and loads, red mizizo paste, white mizizo paste, or whatever you call it, loads and loads of stuff, so, right, I'm going to whack in about a teaspoon 
of Thai powder uh, and I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of Chinese five spice as well and that goes I'm going to whack in some chilies or chili flakes anyway some of that and fucking some of that mate so yeah so been doing a bit of overtime at work as well um, because a couple of weeks ago I got sent home a couple of times uh, which I weren't that happy about I don't mind fucking off early off my own volition but I don't want to be sent home you know what I mean so we'll just see what we can see with this so I'll try and give it a mix up let's turn that off now off off that's sake who's your told on Jesus Christ so I'm just I'm just literally just creating a marinade that's all I'm doing at the moment Put in a little bit of paprika as well, so I just want a bit of vivid colour if I can manage to achieve that. We don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? If you do know, let me know in the comments. I mean, nobody fucking washes these anyway, so I basically could say that actually I think all use lots smell of poo and go fuck yourselves. I'm not joking. But I could do because nobody watches them. So, I mean, there are, I do get views, but I don't think they watch them for that long. So, anyway, probably because I'm rambling. And I can't do editing because I ain't got a computer or anything like that. So, it's an off that. Okay. So, I'm just putting some garlic paste. I'm going to put in some ginger paste as well. Oh, shit. Everyone, everyone's a winner. Not everyone's a winner. I'm not a winner. Uh, you might not be a winner, but there we go. Right. So I'm gonna just pour this in here now. Sesame seed. I ain't got a lot of this sesame seed oil left, so I'll have to be very careful. Just a tiny drizzle. Uh, come on. Right, let's give it a bit of water just to just, uh, gather everything up. Oh shit. There we go. Right, let's give this a mix around and see what happens. See what what mad creation I have created. What is he fucking doing? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Well, it smells nice. So, let's whack it in. Right, so this is going to be the pork belly that have been marinated. So I'm just going to chuck them in like that. There we go. So the marination for the pork belly is going to be different for the chicken fire. I mean, actually, it might even be slightly different for both of them. I don't know yet. So, right, so that's the pork belly marinade. We'll just let them out. Just leave that over there. Let's wash our hands. Actually, I will need that bowl, will I? So, because I've only got, I've got another bowl, but it's a bit big. So I don't really need that. Let's just lay. Let's lay the pork belly into the dish. They're going to be um, roasted off in. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm going to very slowly roast these in the oven on a very low heat for a long time. So we'll just see how that goes. I don't know how it's going to work out. Like I said, I'm not following any recipes ingredients or, or, or instructions on this one I'm literally doing it off the hoof I was going to do a Thai dish um, and I was looking at some Thai dishes I'm subscribed to a Thai lady on, on YouTube but 
it's quite tricky the old tire ones so that's the poor belly now right let's just do them both as we're going to do them right okay i've got some really nice chicken powder here which i'm going to use um, it's like you know like raw chicken stock cubes it's like that but better because it's not as salty and this is what the chef uses so we're gonna do a bit of that first we're just gonna put a teaspoon of it in as we'll put two fuck it yeah, it just tastes quite chickeny but it hasn't it's got it's got like less of the salt in it so I'm gonna put a bit of salt and pepper. I'm using a white pepper as well. And I basically want to, what am I gonna do now? Um, I'll put a bit of. So that's the thing with not actually knowing what you're really doing is you don't actually know what you're fucking doing. I'm going to go for a bit of Thai spice instead. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to mix this around. So we've just got a powdered marinade at the moment. I will put some of this Singapore noodle paste on there on the chicken why not right uh, let's just get it powdered so I'm almost like dry coating it you know I mean this might work it might not work I don't know my dude near it's just it's just an experiment I need more of that, I don't know that fuck's sake. Yes, yeah, so it's a lovely sunny day here. Um, you know, it's very nice. And a lot of people say, oh, why don't you go out? Well, I've got a bit of an issue. Um, that uh, is part of my situation, really, of a single man. Um, Let's just say I haven't got shit loads of friends. Um, and it's a little bit it's a little bit tricky uh, going out sort of like on your own. It's actually a bit shit really, so that's why I don't even bother. So I've had um, like since like the loss of like the raw mail job for like that nine years, I've you know my restriction was sort of like money really, but now I'm sort of coming to another sort of a little issue in my life, uh, which is basically um, like last year I went to I just drove to uh, Burnham on Crouch really and thought fuck it let's just drive there and uh, yeah it was shit because I just you know I'm going there on my own. I got to the high street, got off my bike, went into the pub, had a piss, come back out, and then just drove home. So basically what I call it, my little thing that I've got, is I call it my burn or crouch situation. Which basically means I've got no one to do fucking nothing with. So it's a nightmare. It, it's very restrictive. You know, because you can't go on holiday, you can't go to a restaurant, you can't really so well, no one to socialise with so yeah it's a bit shit isn't it really to myself well, there we go right we're going to try this noodle paste I've got no idea what it fucking tastes like but hmm tastes quite nice I'm going to put one two three tea, ta teaspoons of that in Right, this now it's opened. We all know the rules. Goes in the fridge. So yeah. Right, and now I'm just going to mix it, round, and let it marinate. 
in this and we will see we'll see how it comes out I've got no idea really haven't I mean it could be it could be a disaster it might not be who knows right that's that I'm going to leave that marinating in that bowl because I don't need that bowl for anything now until later, really. So let's, oh, let's, let's not, I don't chop me J-Crofts because I ain't really got a lot of them so I'll just wash them and reuse them. So there we go, so we've got the Korean hot peppered paste. Basically we're trying to make like Chinese barbecue pork belly. And this uh, nice chicken thing that we've got going on here. So let's cover that up. That can go and live in the fridge. And we ain't going to be doing these uh, until tonight. No, I won't be doing the video until. Fuck me, fuck sake. Yeah, so I won't be doing the video until tonight. Alright, let's just whack that on, I suppose. Right, let's whack that in the fridge as well. There we go. So yeah, so it's going to be like a Singapore noodle dish. I've got some king prawns. So that was another thing I got from my intro. It's got loads of stuff, basically. And we're going to put some bok choy in it. Or oh, that's going to be served with it. I want to try and do it whole. So we're going to have our like Singapore noodles. I'm going to make a sort of like a curry sauce. And that's where the chicken fire with the skin on, that's going to be hopefully perfectly cooked. And that's going to be placed on the chicken sauce, like sliced. And then we've got like the, uh, the Singapore noodles with the other bit of chicken and prawns in it and all the veg and all that stuff. And then some nice rice and then the, uh, the pork strips just placed like so, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. On this one, I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll see. Um, when we um, when we put this in the oven, I'm going to chop up some garlics and chilies and mix them all in with the beef, with the pork belly and the chicken thighs, and we will slowly roast it off on probably about nothing like 110, something like that, and that's it. So anyway, anyway, I'll see you in part two. Winner, winner, pork belly, barbecue, Singapore noodle dinner, maybe, who knows, see you later.